I don't like repeat offenders. I like dead offenders. The great Ted Nugent. Somebody said I'm live! In three, two, one, hey! Ted Nugent with his bird land. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm the security guard for life, liberty, and the pursuit of God's own happiness. And everybody loves an American campfire and the groove to go with it. Everybody loves the American campfire. Don't you hear it calling your name? Everybody loves the American campfire. Campflyer. The campfire will make you go absolutely insane. Greetings with truth, logic, and common sense of the end of a crowbar suppository. Oh, look, it's Happy Sadie and Coco. They've come to help me. There's the kids. Hi, Coco. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to knock it. Sadie, there's my Sadie, the lady. Now they're going to knock something down. And I got some hard work. You got Jason Hartless and his dad over there. It's a team. You can see them. Where are they? They're there. They're lining up thousands of vinyl records. I don't even know what I'm doing here. All I can tell you is that my name is Ted Nugent. This is the real America's voice spirit campfire where I didn't invent the middle finger, but I have perfected it over the years. Speaking of perfection, Mrs. Nugent has just entered the man cave cuckoo's nest arsenal of democracy, gut pile, blood trail, backstrap orgy epicenter of life, liberty, and the pursuit of gonzo happiness. Can you pursue gonzo happiness or just kind of half-ass happiness? Well, if you're here with Ted Nuge on the Real America Voice Spirit Campfire, everything's going to be okay. Jason, you guys just keep working over there. Shemaine, I'll get to you in a minute. I'm going absolutely bonsai here. This is one of my birdlands from the uh, dressing room. I don't know what year it is. Maybe Todd out there in Canada can tell me. But what a bunch of beautiful birdland. Look at this. Sometimes I just leave them in the same room and they just start. Sp oh, they're almost exactly the same, aren't they? They're twins. Not quite twins. How beautiful are my birdlands. So let's talk about the Gibson birdland. I'd like to ask you the uh, obvious question. Who the hell do I think I am? picking up a Gibson Berlin. I just heard some kind of funny little sound in my earpiece, but I think my technology experts at the Real America Voice studio, they actually have a studio. I have a barn. I'm in my barn. Did I just button that? This is a fresh uh, Carhartt work shirt from Powers Clothing in Jonesville, Michigan. So one of the basics of the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. John, all those uh, noises, are those good? Because I'm going to just keep going here. But anyhow, what I like to celebrate here is Independence Day every day. Happy Father's Day every day. Happy Independence Day every day. The world is just a royal, seething, demonic clusterfuck orgy of rot and soullessness out there. But here you are with your Uncle Ted providing sanctuary for the spirit and the physics of spirituality. So improvise, adapt, and overcome and tell everybody you know that there's a smart-ass guitar player that not only wrote Wango Tango, I meant it. I mean, I literally meant every love song lyric that I've ever spewed on an unsuspecting public with the Detroit muscle rhythm and blues, rhythm and blues, Motown funk brother, soul brother, blood brother, American Dream soundtrack. That's what I've produced all these years. In fact, we're here in the Man Cave Cuckoo's Nest. We have this special edition vinyl. I'm going to promote my shit here on Real America's Voice. She may move this, this halo light. It's like making everything look like it's got a halo. And I know my halo is so overwhelming. I have maybe back it off. A, yeah, that's it. Hey, there you go. Perfect. See, my technician. I got to show you my technician. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Okay. Look at that. All right. Look at that. You have a technician like that? Don't hate me because my technician is more beautiful than your technician. 
just love me because I'm sharing her effervescence with you. You know, if I had a seat here, I'd let you join me right now. Um, maybe we can manipulate this. But I want you to know that this is a raw, primal scream. Ted Nugent, unfettered. No censorship. Censors can kiss my flame-throwing ass because I provide sanctuary with unlimited truth, logic, and common sense, goodwill and decency. You know, all that radical stuff that represents kryptonite to Uncle Sam. And that's a painful thing to say because we want to love our government, but it's impossible right now, isn't it? We want to respect our government, but that's impossible right now, isn't it? So I'm providing you sanctuary and otherwise treacherous, treacherous waters. Consider me a lifeboat, a lifeboat, preferably with lights for nighttime carp shooting. Are you guys grasping the uh, adventure of uh, where I'm just a tangent? I mean, everything I do is a tangent, like the Fred Bear song. We're celebrating 30, what, 35 years, Jason, yeah. 35 years, that stupid light again. 35 years of the tribute from my heart and soul to my hero, my friend, my mentor, my spiritual blood brother, Fred Bear, the song. For those joining us here, you're probably already real music lovers because Ted Nugent tends to share the perfection of soulful music, grinding, grooving, authoritative, genuine, believable, honest musical soundtrack for all of our individual American dreams as we celebrate Independence Day coming up, but we're celebrating it every day with Uncle Ted on the Real American Voice Spirit Campfire. You know, Shemaine, do you think if I got adequate sleep, I could still go on these like verbal orgy tangents? I think my stream of consciousness is somewhat relative to the lack of sleep, which hence the bags under my eyes, which are going to be okay because those are ammo bags. <laughs> So tell everybody you know that there's a smart-ass guitar player that's 75 years clean and sober. No drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco, and none of that fat. I'm telling you. I'm allergic to fat. I'm telling you. <laughs> Can you feel the authenticity of my toxification, my, my intoxic? I'm not toxic. I'm intoxicated on freedom. But tell everybody, you know, we still got almost four minutes left in this first segment. And we're going to have Shemaine Nugent, the queen of the forest, join me here to bring even more profound sanctuary from the horrible world around us that gets more horrible every day. But I still somehow wallow in the whitewater rapids of positive spirit and energy. What, what a miracle. I'm a miracle worker. I'm like Mother Teresa with a Glock. I'm like Michael the Archangel with an A-10 warthog. So anyhow, the limited edition Fred Bear that I signed, now this one got smudged because my signature, I go so fast. I'm telling you, if I masturbated, I'd pull my dick clean off. This wrist, this wrist could fuel the earth. If I unleashed this wrist on the axis of the earth, I could reverse the earth's axis. Well, that's a pretty cocky thing to say. Oh, shut the fuck up. Nothing cocky about that at all. <laughs> so anyhow, this limited edition Fred Bear tribute is coming out. And also, all day today, I am signing this vault from the free-for-all record with the great meatloaf. By the way, John, at some point, and Parker and Ryan, you've got a photo of me in my loincloth hoisting meatloaf off the floor. So at some point in prose production, show the picture of me hoisting his meatloafness up as if it was just a bag of cotton. I was so strong. I was Bruce Lee till I got married. Well, Shemaine's going, yeah, whatever happened to that? <laughs> we'll have Shemaine on here in a minute, which by the way, well, I'm going to talk about that, but anyhow, this is a free for all the vault with outtakes with the great Rob Grange and Cliff Davies and Derek St. Holmes. I'm, what a, I think God might love me more than he loves you because he has sent the world's greatest musicians to always be at my side. Thank you, God. Good prioritization so I could create the ultimate animal breeding soundtrack for definitive fun around the Freedom Campfire. So the vault, Jason, is this even available anymore? 
until we go on tour. So this autograph, there's my autograph right on it. I've been saying, ying, 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 But you can actually read my autograph. I see a lot of guys. I had a bunch of guys sign a guitar for a charity once. I didn't recognize any of the signatures. I couldn't find a vowel or a consonant or a constant vowel. I had a constant vowel movement here recently. So anyhow, this is available on tour, autographed, and then this Stone Cold Mofo, this Spirit of the Wild with the incredible Denny Carmasi and Derek St. Holmes and Michael Lutz, the uh, unbelievable vinyl reproduction. Thank you, Jason Hartless and his family. What's the name of your production company? Sound City Records. Sound City Records. Sound City, like Motor City Records. Oh, we only got 40 seconds left in this segment. I better get the hell out of here. But anyhow, we got Shemaine Nugent coming on with, by the way, everybody, number one bestseller on Amazon, Killer House by Shemaine Nugent. My wife, she wrote this, and when she wrote it, she wore this little outfit and she'd sit there on the couch, and I'd just watch her write in this little outfit. It was thyracious. It was bona fide reality. Shemaine Nugent, Killer House, Amazon.com. My name is Ted Nugent. This is The Real America's Voice. And nobody can stop me. Many have tried and many have died. I'll be right back with more truth, logic, and common sense. It's precious. It's <laughs> precious.